Decisions, decisions, decisions. We all know that it's sometimes hard to decide between options. To help in this process, a business might use a simple diagram known as the decision tree. Here's an example of one for a company called Southwest Ice Creams Limited, a medium-sized ice cream manufacturer. A decision tree can be used where the cost of investment and the return on that investment can be estimated and the probability of different things happening can be worked out. A decision tree shows the options and the possible outcomes associated with each option. Calculations using the decision tree can be used to help choose the best option. Let's explain the figures in this example and at the same time show you how to construct and evaluate a decision tree in 10 easy stages. So, the medium-sized ice cream manufacturer has done well in recent years and has accumulated profits of several million pounds. The directors are considering how to invest this money. Three options are under consideration. Option one is to do nothing. This will involve obviously no investment and produce no return. Option two is to set up operations to make a new product that they're calling Dornetta. This is a premium priced cone ice cream with elaborate ripples and sprinkles and nuts. Option three is to set up operations to produce a new product, a different new product, with the brand name Fruity Fred. This is a much simpler ice cream tub and this option comes in a range of fruit flavours. Both the investment needed and the returns for the Fruity Fred option are less. Here's a summary of the figures for option 2 and 3. Option 1, Dornetta, the investment needed is £3 million. Return on investment if demand is high, £10 million. Probability of high demand is 0.6. The return if demand is low, 4 million. The probability of low demand is 0.4. Option 2, the Fruity Fred ice cream. The investment needed would be 2 million pounds. Uh, the return on that, if demand is high, would be 8 million pounds. The probability of that high level of demand is 0.7. If demand is low, however, return would only be three million pounds. The probability of that lower level of demand is 0.3. Now, we can construct and evaluate the decision tree in 10 easy stages. Stage one, draw a small square on the left of your sheet. This symbolizes the decision. Stage two, draw a line for each option and label the option by writing just above the right line. Option one, etc. Keep the lines reasonably far apart. In this example, there are three options, but there could be more or fewer options. Stage three, think about whether the outcome of an option is certain or not. Where the outcome is certain, as applies to do nothing here, extend the line to the far right, and write the financial outcome of that option at the end. In this case, it would be zero. Where the outcome is uncertain, draw a circle at the end of that line. Stage four, from any circle, draw lines to the right representing possible outcomes. Label the outcome, uh, for example, high or low demand. Stage five, and here you can begin to work out which option might be the best. At the end of the lines, write the estimated financial result, or payout if you like, of each outcome. Stage six, write the probability of each outcome just under the line showing the outcome. If percentages are used to show probability, the total for each option must be 100%. For example, the probability of a high level of demand for Donetta is 60% and for low demand it's 40%. 
where decimals or fractions are used, on the other hand, to indicate probability, as is the case here, the total of the outcomes should be equal to exactly 1. Stage 7, note the investment or other expenditure required under the right option line. For example, Donetta will have a capital cost of £3 million. Work out the expected monetary value, that's stage 8. Work out the expected monetary value for each outcome and option. Start on the right. The workings for the Donetta EMV are given with the explanation of these steps. Step 1. Multiply the forecast return for each possible outcome by its probability. <coughs> Excuse me. Step 2. Add the results of these various forecast returns together. Step 3. Subtract the cost of that option. That final answer provides a figure that represents the net expected value of a particular option. Here's some figures to show how the MV, the EMV, would be worked out for each brand of ice cream. So the EMV for option one, the EMV for option two. Purely on the basis of the decision tree, Dornetta seems the best way forward for the business. But in reality, there may well be other factors that will influence the final decision. Stage 9. Once EMVs have been calculated, cross out each rejected option with two small diagonal lines. Stage 10. Consider whether any qualitative factors should be taken into account, rather than just relying on what the decision tree indicates. Qualitative factors are based on opinion and preference, rather than just numbers. To find out more about decision trees and get details of the LearnLoads ebooks that are being produced in 2015, visit learnloads.com. Bye.